All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from K Hux Nation, and this is it. <laughs> we finally have arrived at a brand new buffer metal. At a must. Oh, I'll get into that in a sec about whether or not it's a must. Have. Uh, but this is currently the best metal in the game. And you're going to want to stick around to get like my full insight for this metal because I already know many people out there and many other uh, YouTubers out there and stuff are, or anybody giving their opinion about this metal are going to tell you to get this metal immediately. Okay. However, I think slightly differently. So stick around for that. But without further ado, let me first start off for anybody who don't know what the heck this metal is, what it does. Uh, and just want to get my insight about it. Let me quickly go over it. So the new metal, of course, obviously as shown here on the screen, is Supernova Plus Kingdom Hearts 3 Nominate. All right, straight off the bat, we can already tell that the first draw is free based on the banners themselves. Okay, so that's a nice little plus, okay? They haven't done something like that in quite a while. So that, that's a nice, like that's, that feels good. Um, I can't complain as a consumer. Getting on with it, let's talk about what she actually does, because that's the main thing of importance. All right. So first of all, she's a power upright metal. Okay, has a maximum strength, including chips and dales, of thirty-seven thousand. Uh, is an AOE metal for one turn. She raises the metal strength, general metal strength, by two thousand. Increases your general strength, upright strength, reverse strength, and PSM strength by 15 tiers. Lowers the enemy's general defense, upright defense, reverse defense, and PSM defense by 15 tiers. Increases guilt by 200%. Uh, adds two counters. Recovers full HP. Uh, recovers five gauges and cures elements. Has zero gauges, is tier 10, and has a multiplier of a 79.5. Okay. Her supernova is AoE. Has a 220 multiplier. Uh, there you go. Now you can see it. 220 multiplier. For one turn, increases general metal strength by 5,000. Increases guilt buff by 280%. Recover or adds five counters and recovers five gauges and it triggers before slot one is activated when defending. So, straight off the bat. For any of you who are not aware or don't know enough about the game to make this decision on your own, Nominate is literally the best metal in the game for every single reason. Okay, uh, we'll just go down the list. First of all, she literally completely maxes out all buffs and debuffs on her own automatically. Okay, because if you don't, if you're not aware, the buff cap is currently at. Uh, 15 tiers. 15 tiers is the highest amount of buffs and debuffs that you can uh, apply to yourself or an enemy. All right, and she literally provides 15 tiers of everything. Uh, it's even more busted that she actually does both upright and reverse, which is which is new. Okay, we haven't really had very many medals that do stuff like that. There's only a handful, and all of them were nowhere near this type of power level like Nominate is. Okay, uh, this also means that we no, no longer need to have date is changed we also no longer need to have like an actual Kyrie and a shion two separate metals in order to keep track of uh upright and reverse separately okay so that alone is already really good okay the fact that she provides so we'll go down uh list them max tiers first point both upright and reverse, second point, okay? The third point is the fact she literally provides all of the benefits that Kyrie Shion already provide as well. Okay, let me go back to that screen. That's cool. Uh, such as max health, uh, healing, healing, healing ailments, uh, gauge restoration, and I think, oh, adding counters, literally everything. On top of the fact of costing no gauges at all whatsoever, uh, it's also an added bonus at the fact that she literally has the highest multiplier, mul yeah, multiplier, multiplier in the game as well. Okay, she is technically the strongest metal in the game 
on top of like in terms of damage on top of also being the best buffer metal in the game now after stating that okay a lot of you are like oh this is fantastic okay like i this is a must-have metal she's literally the most broken metal in the game and to some degree you are correct however i do have some things i kind of want to point out and add a bit of a word of caution before any of you start going crazy about nominee which is the fact that i guess we'll go down the line first of all because of the fact they even released this metal in the first place is a huge red sign that we're probably going to see a buff cap increase uh happening sometime fairly soon how soon that's kind of the biggest question and in terms of the buff cap increase by how much will it increase that's also the second important question to note as well okay because realistically as of right now okay at the time of making this video while the buff cap is still at 15 tiers you technically don't need kingdom hearts 3 nominee yet that's the key word yet uh as long as you have your kingdom hearts your uh kairi a and shion a medals uh right now assuming they have extra attack if they don't have extra attack then you might want nominate but at the same time it's it's so much easier these days to actually get extra attack especially with the moogle shop where if you really wanted to debatable whether or not i might encourage wasting 5,000 jewels to do it but you could technically spend 5,000 jewels uh or less if you do vip depending on what vip traits are available that week you could uh get extra attack for your kingdom Hearts 3 Kari, uh a or shion okay so these guys Kari a as well as uh that's Yeah, there we go okay so if you have extra attack on these guys which i do on mine okay you don't really need nominate as of yet because these guys alone with extra attack already provide pretty much all of your buffs and debuffs already for you as well in which case getting nominate isn't really that big of a deal uh the fact that nominate provides upright and reverse isn't really a big deal either right now okay if you already have for the same reason they already pretty much do the same exact thing uh there's a again though this is only while the buff cap is currently at 15 tiers when the buff cap does increase okay depending on how much the buff cap increases that will determine whether or not you should or shouldn't go for nominee okay now disregarding the damage multiplier and the buffs and debuffs okay uh there's only one specific reason why you might still be inclined to get nominee regardless even if you already have your Kyrie and shion and that is specifically because of the fact that she provides a uh, plus 2000 general strength okay so it's not tied to any specific attribute it will literally apply to your entire uh setup all your medals in your setup it provides plus 2000 general strength her cast on top of providing plus 5,000 general metal strength from her supernova. If you recall, okay, I believe that's the same exact amount that Ari B uh, also provides as well, but only for upright metals instead. Okay, so we're... Yeah, like here's Shion B. Here's the... Yeah, so like here's Kyrie B's description. Kyrie B, which is... Uh, the Kyrie in the middle. Kyrie B literally provides plus 5,000 upright metal strength, okay, which is still really good, but Nominate provides general metal strength. So Kyrie will only affect upright metals, whereas Nominate will literally affect all of your metals, regardless of what attributes they are. Uh, so, in the best case scenario, let's say you have extra tech on Nominate, you can get a total of plus 9,000 strength metal strength with just your first metal <laughs> kind of nuts okay that's literally the only other uh reason why you might be inclined to get nominate uh outside of buffs and debuffs and multiplier okay now in terms of the multiplier even though nominate is technically the strongest metal in the game if you're looking to replace your uh Kyrie 
your Kari A or your Shion A. Okay. As soon as possible with Namine. The multiplier is kind of irrelevant. Just because of the fact that just like with Kyrie and Shion, you're going to want to have second chance on Namine. Uh, because she's literally going to be replacing her. So like for example, if I took Kyrie over here and I took her out and I placed Namine in her place. Because of the fact Namine is going to be my, my newest and strongest uh, buffer metal. Your buffer metal in your slot one is more or less going to always want to be your metal that has the second chance on it. Just because of the fact that uh, it's your buffer metal is not really there. Its job is not to do damage. If it does, that's great. Extra bonus to you. But it, that's not its job. Okay, that's not... You don't need it to do damage. If it does, that's that's great. But you don't need it to do damage. Its main priority is to get all of your buffs and debuffs first before anything else. Uh, and yeah, pretty much buffs and debuffs before anything else as well as any other whatever extra utility it happens to provide. In this case would be like the status ailment curing, uh, gauge restoration, adding counters, all that shenanigan. Okay, guilt boost, all that shenanigan. So that's that's my uh, that's my description about it in, in that regards. OK, so don't be fooled that just because she has the strongest multiplier in the game right now doesn't mean that you have to actually use her as a damage. Metal, OK, because realistically, if you're putting her anywhere later in the setup, you're not really making full use of her uh, for some of the reasons I kind of listed earlier such as the whole the fact that you can literally provide plus 9,000 strength with just herself, okay? With just one metal. And you want that at the very beginning and because of the fact you want to maximize your metal strength throughout your entire Keyblade setup as much as possible, you want to start off with those big bursts of metal strength as early in the Keyblade as possible. So as many as your, uh, so you can have as many metals in your setup be uh, affected by that, gain as much benefit from that as possible. Okay, so you realistically want nominate in the first slot and use her as your buffer metal your main buffer metal give her a second chance so that way she provides max buffs and debuffs for all attributes and whatnot uh she provides the plus 9000 strength or if you don't have extra attack on her plus 7000 strength which is still ridiculous that's basically an entire new evolution amount on her own which is kind of nuts all right it usually takes me like four four casts like quadruple and quadrupling casting uh two metals for me to get like that amount whereas now i can do it just by herself with her supernova and two casts or one cast like that's nuts uh but yeah you want to have as much metal strength as possible at the very beginning of the setup so it affects as many metals as possible okay now after stating all that all right i, I kind of got sidetracked a little bit so we're gonna let me backtrack back to what I was saying before. When they do increase the buff cap, which for all we know could happen this month, next month, two months from now, we have no idea, okay? I'm thinking maybe it might be next month, if not next month, January. Um, just because of the fact that I'm willing to bet they're gonna try and give uh, people enough time to try and get nominated first before they bring, they introduce a new buff cap. Uh, of course, that's using log that's using you know reasonable logic. Square Enix tends to, or at least Union Cross tends to like to rush things a lot. So for all we know, we could get it next week <laughs> and just completely screw over all of our plans. That happens all the time, so I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but at least for me, I would probably expect it sometime either next month or January the buff cap to happen if it does happen, which I don't see why it wouldn't happen at this point. Uh, just because of the fact that, well, because she literally provides everything. You don't really, the only metals you would need in your setup anymore are literally just metals that have the strongest multipliers. And that would be it. Okay. You wouldn't need really any of the other uh, utility besides, you know, adding metal strength to your, your metals. And that would be it. Uh, but yeah, uh. What was I saying about that? Oh yeah, in terms of her damage though, as well, okay. You're uh, just to kind of further elaborate that you're not really getting as much use out of her if you're putting her later in your setup that's not the first slot. 
Uh, so let's take this. Let's take this into consideration. Let me go to Fenrir, for example. So on Fenrir, okay. Let's say uh, because the fact she had the strongest multiplier. Do not do this. Where? Let me score this real quick. Okay. Let's say you have your setup, your full setup, and you decide to put Nomine in your pet slot, because pet slot typically tends to have the highest multiplier. Uh, let's say you put Nomine in your pet slot, because the fact Nomine has the highest multiplier in the game, and let's say you put in attack boost max skill on her as well. Even though, yeah, technically Nomine will do the most amount of damage if you put her in the pet slot, uh, but you're also not really getting the most damage out of your entire setup if you're putting on the pet slot just because of the fact that the rest of your medals are not going to be able to benefit from the plus two or four thousand strength the nominee will be able to provide to your entire setup if you had put her in the first slot instead so think about it like this okay sure even though you get the most damage output by putting her in the last slot last slot okay um, but that's only for one metal. You're getting max damage output for one metal compared to getting max damage output for your for six metals if you had put her in the first. Okay, huge difference. Or five metals, however you want to look at it. Uh, so like, if I had put, if you put Nominee in the first slot and then you put whatever your, your you know, strongest metals in the other slots, if I had Nominee in the first slot, that means that all the rest of my strength, I mean my medals, are getting at least the plus four thousand, plus two or four thousand strength on top of the supernova, which is five thousand. So you're getting about seven thousand, nine thousand extra strength uh, for all of your medals, meaning that all of your medals do extra damage as well compared to normal. All right? That damage output throughout your entire keyblade is going to make a vastly diff, uh, bigger difference compared to just putting nominate in the last slot where only she herself is getting the damage up, okay It'd be a huge change in how you do things uh the only for any of you veterans out there i know you kind of already know this stuff already i'm just kind of reiterating this for anybody who happens to be newer or isn't that great at you know strategizing or still doesn't know how to make proper setups just throwing that out there okay so i, I keep going back to this because <laughs> i keep forgetting about it so going back to the whole whether or not you actually need her or not deal, uh, like I mentioned before, she is going to be mo uh, a must-have metal, okay? But in layman's terms as well, because of the fact that buff cap hasn't happened yet, we you if you happen to not have enough jewels to to mercy her on top of not being able to buy VIP to mercy her either. Uh, strictly her it is not the end of the world just because of the fact you don't actually need her yet okay uh the biggest question is what if when the buff cap increases how much will it increase because if if the buff cap only increases by like seven tiers for example then you could still probably uh get by without nominate all right so right now we're at a buff cap of 15 tiers if they buff it to let's say 24 what is that an extra five that's an extra nine tiers you can still easily achieve that with the medals currently available in the game i can still easily achieve plus 24 tiers oh excuse me of buffs and debuffs with just my Kyrie and shion alone so like for example uh my Kyrie, because of the fact that my Kyrie has extra attack oh this is the wrong Kyrie. This one. There we go. Because my Kyrie has extra attack, uh, my Kyrie alone will provide plus 14 tiers of buffs and debuffs by herself. Okay. And then if I combine her with any of those, like basically any of the latest metals, such as my Era, for example, it provides plus eight tiers of everything. Okay. And he has extra attack. That means just on the first cast. I'll have uh, plus 22 tiers, and then by the time my ear has extra attack, so it, it stacks up. Uh, and by the time I use ear a second time from the extra attack, I have max buffs and debuffs already. Okay, look in a situation like that, it really it, it kind of doesn't really make much of a difference. 
Um, and, with, and you could probably still get by without needing nominate. But let's say, let's. But what if the buff cap happens to increase to let's say 32 tiers? Okay, that's a huge jump, going from 15 tiers to 32 tiers. If that ends up being the case, then yes, nominate will absolutely need to be a must-have because no other metal in the game buffs. Uh, provides buffs and debuffs to the same degree a nominee does okay. so that's the biggest biggest like question right there is when is the buff cap coming and we kind of know it's coming because of the fact they wouldn't make a metal like this unless it's coming uh because simply because of the fact that people they people wouldn't have a need or people would not have a reason to continue pulling knowing that nominee is just the best metal once you have the best metal why would you need any other metal that's kind of the thing. So we know it's coming. The question is by how much will it increase? And depending on how much it is, that will determine how mandatory nominee is. Whether or not you can pass, like kind of uh, get by without needing nominee. Uh, so that's that's kind of the biggest question. All right, I'm assuming it's gonna be somewhere at least in the 30s, if not higher, just because of that reason. Uh, they want you to get that medal on top of the fact that even though Nominee has the highest multiplayer right now, it's kind of a telltale sign that they're going to start releasing more actual damage medals that have much higher uh, either A, multipliers than Nominee in the first place, in which case it doesn't really matter. Uh, Nominee's multiplier doesn't really matter. Uh, or B, even if the multipliers aren't the highest, highest, they'll still be high enough on top of providing enough plus metal strength to your medals to help make up for that fact uh, overall. So that's kind of where it is right now. So all in all, I know I kind of I kind of said a lot in this video. Uh, there's a lot to take in. She's she's pretty nuts. So all in all, just to kind of sum it up again, summarize everything. If you don't have the jewels, don't worry about it just right now. Just because of the fact she's more than likely going to get a reprint. Okay, for uh, very important medals like Nominate or the Kyrie medals and such. Always reprint her. Uh, on top of the fact that, especially if because of the fact that her free-to-play banner is one of those random mercy pulls, which are terrible. Uh, you might be better off just waiting for a actual legitimate mercy pull and a reprint banner or something. But uh, if you don't have enough jewels, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. You can get by without using nominee for now. Okay. Uh, but once the buff cap does come, then you're going to want to start looking to try and get her as soon as possible. So, I think I covered everything. I don't recall if I forgot something or if I missed anything. Uh, if I did, though, go ahead and let me know in the comment sections down below. Uh, as well as... what. Give me your thoughts and your opinions about everything in the comment section down below as well. Uh, the only other thing I didn't really mention was the fact that Nominee provides plus five, recovers five gauges instead of ten, like Kyrie and Shion do. That's the only other, that's the only like downside to her, but that's not a big enough downside that kind of really matters in my opinion. Uh, but other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from K-Hux Nation. I will see you guys in the next video.